this is the 20 point project. Now, uh, previously we've talked about linked lists, we've talked about doubly linked lists, uh, we've even talked about sorting strings and things of that nature. So, uh, in our regular linked list, we had a node which had an integer, and basically we used those integers to determine where on this linked list the number goes. Uh, so if you remember, whenever I insert a number, it goes through and figures out where that number is going to go. It already sorts them uh, when I'm doing it. Now the major difference here is my node's going to be a little different. Instead of a node, I'm going to use something called a listing, but it's basically going to be kind of the same thing for the most part. Uh, I'm going to use this listing object instead. Now, I'm going to create a listing object, and the object will contain the following fields. First name, last name, address, and phone number. There's actually four different fields on it. Now, it'll also have a print method that just prints those values. And a lot of people get confused on how am I supposed to print a for loop or that. No. Remember, each listing is its own thing. It doesn't know about other listings. The listing itself is just going to have basically four print statements. Print, first name is this, last name is that, address is this, phone number is this. From your linked list, you can basically cycle through your linked list and print from there. That's what we've been doing with our linked lists, if you remember. Now, you're going to create a linked list called phone book. You can edit the singly linked list that we made in class for this. Basically, everything pretty much is the same. Uh, you're just adjusting it to work with something different here. Uh, the idea is still the same. Instead of plugging in numbers, it will plug in listing objects. The sorting will happen over the last name. You can use you know, the compare to operator we use in class. Uh, you can also uh, use the care at, I think I talked about, uh, possibly. Now, you'll need to edit insert, delete, and the display methods for the most part uh, of this project. Uh, if you happen to have like an insert first, or insert last, or delete first, delete last, ignore those. Uh, I'm really only interested in insert, delete, display. Uh, those are the ones I'm mostly worried about. Now, you're going to create a couple of listings, objects, and you're going to put them into our phone book. Now the first one is Jason Voorhees, 111 Crystal Lake Drive, Freddy Krueger, 1428 Elm Street, Michael Myers, 707 Meridian Avenue. Uh, I actually don't remember where Michael Myers' address was. Uh, I'm, maybe that's it. Uh, but whatever, Michael Myers lives there. Uh, set the numbers to whatever you want. Doesn't really matter what their phone number is. Just put a random phone number in there. Uh, that is their name. That is their address. First, last, and such. <clears throat> then you're going to display all the listings. Uh, if you did this right, they should be ordered by last name. I'm, again, I'm not too fussed about sorting them by first name, too, or anything like that. Last name is the only thing I'm really looking for. Uh, so creating your insert, you're basically going to insert it using the last name. Delete one of the listings and then display the contents again. Uh, and so basically you're going to insert these, display everything. Delete one of them, display again, and it should display those two. And at that point you should be okay. Now again, you're going to be editing your listing that you have. Uh, so if you recall that, uh, let's see. Assuming I have it in here. Linked list. Da, 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 da. As you can see, I have quite a lot of programs here uh, from older projects and things like that. Uh, all right, well, I'll use this one here. There it is. Now, basically, what you're going to need to do is instead of a node, you're inserting a listing. That's it. It's, it's a listing. Uh, and instead of a linked list, it's a phone book. That's all. Uh, the names are different. That's really the major thing there. Uh, 
So obviously we'll have to adjust some of these things here. Uh, obviously you still want to keep track of the list count. The node head would obviously be a listing instead. Uh, you would still need your next. You don't have to make it a double link list. A single link list is enough. Uh, you don't have to worry about the insert last and first. What I want is insert, delete. Uh, of course, you'll need find. Uh, show all uh, to show your list. Uh, now, show all before just printed the number. Now, keep in mind this is also where people trip up a little bit. Uh, each listing should have basically a print that prints it out. So what I need to do is just, you know, say listing dot print. Uh, a lot of people really have trouble with this for some odd reason, but you're just telling each listing as you cycle through to print. That's all. Uh, and that's effectively it. Insert, delete, uh, find. I think that's all I said there, if I'm not mistaken. And the display method, which is the show all. Those are the two major things I'm looking for. Now, obviously, when we insert, we are not inserting or creating a new node. Uh, it won't just have a number. It'll be a listing. It's going to have all four of those things. You know, first name, last name. Those will have to be separate values. Uh, phone number, which should be a string, not a number. That's one thing people try to do as well. They'll put in well, 500 dash you know, 16,000 or something, or 1,600, and then it will get an error. Uh, make it a string. Make your, make your life easier. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we need a node or listing in this case. Uh, and basically, most of this code will be exactly the same. Now, the big difference here is instead of me using the number, I will use the what? The name, the last name. Is the last name, you know, bigger than the other last name, or whatever it is. Uh, that, that's effectively all I'm trying to do. I can use that compare to, uh, which we did before. And then we just, if that's not the case, we'll cycle through basically doing the same thing. And notice we're still basically doing the same code for the most part. Uh, and all the pointers pretty much would be the same. Uh, that's all. Uh, pointers don't really change. Uh, most of what will change is just what you call them, how you insert it up here, like what you pass to it, for example. And that's all. Delete, same thing. We have to find it. If we found it, we go down here, and we're looking to see if this word equals that word. So if you remember the dot equals method, does the listing, the temp dot get, you know, if you want to have a get last name method to make it easier, uh, you can do that. Uh, or just make them all public and say dot name. You know, there's a couple different ways to do that. Uh, dot equals this. I think the get name would probably be easier. Return last name. Uh, if not, we cycle through until we find it. Uh, and it's going to be in the list if we made it past that first phrase there. Uh, and then we just make the little adjustments here. And find would be the same thing. We're going through there trying to dot equals, does this equal that? Uh, that's it. And instead of a number, it would be a string we're looking for. So a couple of adjustments here. And of course to show all, we would be using the print method instead of system.out.print lining the number specifically. Uh, you can't system that out that print line temp dot print message or something like that because uh, that would end up being a void. You'd have to just run the method the prints. Uh, no print statement required. All right, I hope that helps you out with the project that's due. If you have any questions, uh, ask me. Don't wait to the last minute. Uh, definitely don't wait to the last minute. Uh, and that's it.